Hey guys, this is the Infinite Nerd, back with Theories and Thoughts. So if you guys don't know Theories and Thoughts, it's basically a series where I rant, I talk about what I'm expecting in a coming upcoming movie, TV show. Anyways, before I start this video, I just want to give a big shout out to Free Card Gameplay for this episode's gameplay. A link will be in the description for it. It's a lightsaber, it's 11.30, I couldn't record any gameplay. Anyway, but... As today's topic, as you can see from the title, is Doctor Strange. Here's a backstory on him. Stephen Strange was born in Philadelphia, later became a doctor. So no, Doctor Strange is not his superhero name, it's his professional name. He got taken in by a bunch of monks who taught him magic. Anyways, let's get into it. What I expect from Doctor Strange is... A lot, because I read some comic books, I've read about it, a lot about him, and I think Benedict Cumberbatch is... Amazing. It's best character you could play him. Although Johnny Depp was a really close second for me. I'm surprised that they didn't do like something with both of them. Anyways, Doctor Strange, I am hoping it at the end it kinda shows him being his full strength. I mean in the one comic book I've read in the new Marvel is him using Asgardian black magic, which is insane. It's like the most powerful magic and he kills like everything that's taken from the monks and all that but I really wonder if he's a Boston Red Sox fan hmm ah one can only hope and Dr. Stephen Strange Sorcerer Supreme I hope that it explains how he got the eye of Momoto sorry for mouthing this wrong it's just, it's a name that you try to say, but you cannot. <laughs> but, I'm basing what I know off of the trailer. Now, the trailer was amazing. One of my favorite movie trailers ever, because it didn't feel too much about the plot. It showed just enough action, just enough backstory, and I loved it. And, to get into specifics of why I loved it, it's... You had, on the fir one of the first shots, I'm pretty sure, you have him being a doctor. And then, in the next shots, I came with PTSD. I'm like, oh my god, what happened? You know, they set up the storyline enough to the point where you're asking, what happened next? And what's going to happen? And, like, some people don't know. But I'm hoping it's, like, they fill the story arc between those. So... Because there's definitely enough for story arc in between that. You know, you have him being the doctor about to do perform surgery. Then you have him being on the curb of a city, basically, behind, like, a... Lo looks like a jail cell. Like, a really sketchy jail cell. And you just have a, those shots. You have the story arc that sets it up to him, one of the last shots... I think it is literally the last shot where he's walking out of the subway. I'm like, oh my god, you know, what has he learned in that time frame? That's why I love this. That's why I'm loving the Doctor Strange and Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. Because it's explaining very vaguely what happened. You know, all you know is, oh, he went there. He got through this point. How did he get through this point? It keeps you on your feet asking questions. You know, like, oh, did he do this? And the comic books are going to take a different path. You know, because they have that freedom to. And that's what I love about the trailer. Anyways, did it, there, there wasn't many flaws in the trailer, but there definitely was. There were some scenes that could have been longer. But that's more or less what I loved about it still. Like the scene where he gets kicked in, kicked by the monk lady. She's like, boom. And he's like, goes into like the dimension that she's constantly in, which is between life and death. I know, but it was like my favorite scene. I'm like, I wish it showed him like doing a way even more. Even though it's nothing like Doctor Strange. I don't know, but that's still what I loved about it because you keep your frozen guessing. So there wasn't much that I hated about it. I loved it. And my theory for it is that it's gonna end him with hopefully training other sorcerers because there's a sorcerer's guild I'm pretty sure it's called or the sorcerer supremes or something like that with him 
Scarlet Witch and a bunch of other sorcerers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which, if you're reading Civil War 2, that's happening. They stopped this big galactic thing, and they're like, oh, if it wasn't for you guys, we would be like, dead, and all that. Anyways, it's not a Civil War 2 review, which is still an amazing comic book. Can't wait to be the third one. But, some scene, some useless scenes, like the water scene, I didn't find really that useful. You know, but there was barely anything I didn't like. So, again, what do I expect of it? A lot of people ask me that question. Oh, Infinite, what do you expect of this? You know, uh, you know, I feel like it's going to be bad. How about you? I'm like, I, it's going to be the most amazing cinematic universe this year. Okay? No doubt about it. It's going to have one of my favorite actors in it, one of my favorite superheroes in it, let me, my second favorite, third, sorry, third favorite superhero in it. It's going to be one of my favorites, okay? I, it's going to be hard to top this for me this year because there's so much of favorites. The only thing I could top this, if they announced Silver Surfer is getting his own movie and it's going to be good, okay? Only way I would ever... Like, oh hell yeah, you know, this is gonna be Doctor Strange. But it was, yeah, there's so much that I loved for it. I mean, I didn't like about it. I loved it. There's nothing I can say bad about it, but more or less the fact that I hope it goes in his backstory of a kid with his parents and all that. What happened to them? And how he gets to the monks and all that. Hope he explains that. I hope he doesn't start out with him as a doctor. Hope he goes to his back. Start to set up, set up number two. Because Marvel can do good with this. Anyways, that's been my sort of rant on theories and thoughts. This is more of a thoughts one. So I don't have much theories for this. Because I don't want to like. People go in like, oh, she spoiled it, you know? I don't want to be that kind of guy. Anyways, this has been Infinite Nerd. Signing out. And welcome back, guys. If you stayed along this long, you must realize... Oh, here's somebody else to talk to. I do. I have a public Discord server, which I have an annotation right there in the middle. Then, I will also... So, if you guys want to chat with me or anything, or play a game with friends and you want to place a chat other than Skype because it's way better than Skype, way better than team chat and I'm not sponsored by them or anything I just love Discord okay, I love it chatting with my friends and stuff I have, right as of right now I have like 7 servers up AFK, 9 meme team, golf with the friends, League of Legends, CSGO, meme team, private recording which is I'm in right now and let's click the annotation and you will join my public Discord server or copy the annotation, however you want to do it to get to it. Anyways, this has been Them for the Nerd. Signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.